Hi, my name is Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today, I have got a fun project to complete. So today, I am going to create a design using the pre-designed card images, but not the pre-designed card projects. Because I want to do this for an A6 size card, I also want to add a little bit of personalization to this as well. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. And my card size is an A6 card, which is 14.8 by 10.5 centimeters. I would also suggest if you want to follow along with this project, you change your settings to metric, so to make it easier to follow along. I'm gonna select done. Now I need a new project, so I'm gonna go my projects and select new. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is create a border for my card. So I'm gonna to go to shapes, I'm going to go to square. Now I'm doing an A6 size card, so I need to make it slightly smaller than that A6 size card. So my measurements today are going to be 9.7 centimeters wide by 14.3 centimeters tall. Now, if you wanted to make it a landscape card, you would need to adjust those measurements for the width and the height. I also don't want to cut this out, I want to draw it. So I'm going to go to Operation and I'm going to select Draw. And then I am going to select a pe compatible pen. Now I'm going to choose the Fine Point Pen Blue so I remember which pen it is. Okay, if I want to design the inside of the card, I can go ahead and duplicate that square now. I will do that a bit later though. So what we're going to do now to find these free pre-designed card images, I'm going to select images. Now I don't have Cricut Access. If you have Cricut Access, I recommend going here and ticking the box. What you want to see though is the difference here is at the moment we're seeing images that are free or have a price tag attached. I don't have Cricut Access, so I'm going to go to ownership and select free. You could also select purchased and upload it so you can find the images that are free for you. Okay, so now I'm going to search in my images and I'm going to go with a cake card today. And here I am going to find a few different options that I could create an insert card out of. Now remember, I have to also cut out the insert myself with a piece of cardstock and a mat or using a smart material. Let's insert a free card image. It said free, but that's not quite the right size. I am going to resize this to 8.7 centimeters wide. And that is going to give me 11.41 centimeters as a height. Now you can either accept that or you can unlock the card and go and make it 12.5 centimeters. If, as long as the designs still look good, you could even make it even taller if you wish. Now to position it in the center, I am going to go with 0.5 and 0.75. Excellent. Now at the moment, if I press make it, which I will just to show you, say on card map, you'll see that it's putting everything on two different projects and then this gets moved around. So what we're going to do, I'm going to attach that. Now if I go make it, card mat, you'll see it's all on the one mat and it's going to size it correctly. So when I put it on my card mat in the top left hand corner, the cut will come in the right spot. Now, if we wanted to add a little bit of personalization, such as a little bit of text or a little bit more images, we can do that. So I'm going to go to text and I'm going to write happy birthday. Now, one, that is way too big. Two, that is also going to cut it out. And those letters are not the right type of font for a cutout. I'd like it to draw, so I'm going to go to pen, but now it's drawing the outline, the letters. So I want to go to style and I want to go to writing. It's still telling me that this item is not supported by my joy. 
That's because it's saying my pen is incompatible and I need to change my pen selection. So now I'm going to select a pen that comes with the Joy. Now I've been finding when I've been using my Android phone that if I select fine point 0.4 millimeters, even though that's the one that comes in the box of the Joy, that sometimes my Joy says it's not compatible. So I've got a habit of using 0.3 millimeter pens just because, but that's the one that came with my Joy. And currently that's the only pen I own. I've got this happy birthday. I have selected, uh, and I forgot to mention with fonts, if you're after a writing font, I find I need to untick Kern font, find a writing font, search for writing font. And I'm looking for a writing font that doesn't have a price attached to it. Now my go-tos are Cricut Alphabet and Cricut Sans. So we're using Cricut Sans today but you can choose whatever is available to you. Now you could also curve your text if you are on a PC. You do need to, so in order to curve your text, you need to be on a PC or a MacBook and you need to have a single line of text. Now, once you've typed in it, my usual workaround to get it to work out what you're doing is sometimes you need to push enter and uh, backspace and then it will open up the option to curve now today I'm not going to select that option but it is there for you okay so that is what I want to design now we need to remember these dimensions here this is very very important we need to create a shape we need to create a square we need to unlock our square dimensions and we need to make these dimensions 8.7 and they need to be exactly the same as your basic card or your corners. So to make the, your ins, custom insert, you match these two up. So if it's 8.7 and 11.4, you make your insert 8.7 by 11.4. Today, mine is 8.7 by 12.5. So that is exactly what I've got here. So as long as the idea is these two squares need to have identical dimensions. It doesn't matter where they are because this needs to cut on a separate map. I'm going to change the color just because that way when it sorts map into color, it's easier to see. Okay, so what happens now is I need to go through here and attach my text to my card image to my border. And this will be my insert, which I will need to cut from cardstock. And you can cut that one from a map. Now, if you did want to go ahead here and you can just press make it. Now I'm going to select multiple ways because I want one cut on a card mat and the other on a regular mat. My first one, this particular image here is the card. So we want that one on the card mat. The black on black is very hard to see. You can see your blue border. It's very important that that is all in the top left hand corner of your card mat so that everything lines up. Next is the basic cut for the insert, custom size insert that you will make. I will put that on a mat and we will make that separately. Now you can press continue. Before I press continue, you want to make sure that your machine is turned on. You plug it in, make sure it makes all the correct noises and that that light is flashing. I'm also going to find my mats. I've got one lovely card mat here. And I have one lovely light grip mat for my other card. Now the first card mat it was saying was the card. So we're going to take off our dust cover. We're going to pop our card. Now my other trick here is you've got to make sure that your card lines up with that blue line. If you push it all the way up to the top, you can lose up to a mil and it also moves around depending on where your card mat was aligned. So you want to make sure that that white, the top of the white card is, is on that blue line. So when you're ready, you want to avoid as many finger oils as you can on this card mat too. I like to use my scraping tool and give it a good stick to that card mat without touching it. My first card mat got lost to finger oils and scraping and all sorts of rubbish. Machines on, signs 
solid white light. I open it up. Now we know it's going to ask for the pen first. So I'm going to change my pen over. So I'm going to use the pen that came in the box for all of the project. It's going to ask for a red pen and a blue pen, but I am going to use my black pen the whole way through. It's up to you, whatever colors you want. I've just set it up so that it's got two different colors so you can do two different colors. Okay, so I'm gonna print the border this time. We're going to press continue. It's connecting, it's asking us to set our base material. I like to set mine to medium cardstock because my cardstock pack where I got my scrap from says the texture here it's 210 GSM. Now I find I normally have to push more pressure on mine. You might want to check that if you do it and it doesn't quite work. Try default first, see if you like it. That's up to you. Now it's asking us to load our blue pen, then it's going to say red pen, then five point blank. As I said before, I'm going to use my black pen for the entire way through. It is up to you if you want to change those pens over when prompted. It's asking me to load my mat, so you have to make sure you completely unload your mat first before you go ahead and load it in. Now it's checking for the materials. Now I'm going to go ahead and press go. And we're gonna watch our machine do its magic. Now, if you are following along and you don't wanna watch my machine do its magic, go ahead to those chapters and keep skipping. Okay, now it's drawn our border and it drew it on the card and we're happy with where it drew and I'm not gonna abort my project, so I'm gonna push this red pen. I'm gonna keep it, otherwise you can change your pen over. So now it's asking for us to load our fine point blade. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to unclick our clamp, we're going to pull out our pen, we're going to click our pen back together, and we're going to pop that blade back in the clamp and click it in and go ahead and push go. Now that the cut's complete, it's asking me to unload. To make our custom insert card. And now we're gonna be asked to select our material. And today I'm using cardstock with the packet says that it's 210 GSM. So I'm gonna select medium cardstock and I find that I don't get a clean cut unless I select more pressure. However, it is a risk that you will wear your mat out quicker. To make our custom insert card, I'm going to get the card stock and I'm going to pop it onto my mat using my scraper to avoid as many finger oils on my dirty mat as possible. Now if you've got any tips for me to clean that mat, go ahead and pop them in the comments box below. Now it's asking us to load our fine point blade and I'm just going to check mine is already loaded so I'm going to go ahead and load my mat and I need to make sure I completely unload my mat before I go ahead and load it. First, it'll check that it has enough material, and if you're happy and it's happy, it'll ask you to press go. Now that the cut's complete, it's asking me to unload, so I'm going to go ahead and press that unload button, and now it's weeding time. So it's time to weed that insert card off our mat. So the way I get the cleanest cut is if I fold up all four of those side edges first, Take off the outer coating, peel the insert card off our mat carefully and try and avoid curling. Now it's a super exciting time. So we get to weed our card. So I'm going to just grab that card mat. I'm going to start carefully peeling off the card. Now the idea of these cards, according to Cricut, is that they will self-weed. But if they are not, you want to make sure that all the little bits stay on your mat. So I'm going to use my weeding tool to make sure that this happens. 
and we carefully, carefully keep peeling this card off to make sure that it does self-weed as much as possible and help it along where we can. Now we're going to take out our card. It's looking pretty already, but we've got all of those scraps on that card mat. So we're going to scrape them off using our scraper. It's time to put our card together. So to put our card together, we need to take our custom insert card and pop it into each of the corners that have been pre-cut by our Cricut Joy. And there we have it, our finished card made out of budget material. If you liked the video today, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up for me. If it is the first time you're watching me, make sure it is not the last. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you are amongst the first to know when I release a new video. Thanks for watching.